What's up everybody, it's your boy Birdo, and I'm happy to announce that I got the controllers, the HMIs, the drives going. And in this video, we're going to talk about how to start up your own page of creating your own DLC program. Now, I just want to show you a quick overview of how this works, basically. So I have internal bits that, with booleans, are acting as push buttons to communicate to this PLC. But I can also communicate to that PLC due to this switch box. And later on this next week, I'm going to actually make this wireless. It'll still be connected to this, but we'll be able to work on our computers upstairs. But anyways, just to show you, I just pressed this push button, made these lights turn on, and I'm about to make this one go on to the computer. Then I'm gonna make it stop. And then I made it to work. This physical key cannot work any of these push buttons unless it's okay. So anyways, this is just a brief introduction and I hope you guys enjoy this video. Alright, so one of the first things I want to show y'all is how to set up your configuration and communication path to your, your controllers, your HMIs, your drives. I have everything through a switch box as you can see here on the neck here. It's all connected to the Ethernet cabling. And so, you have to make sure you know where to where you uh, set up your configure of drivers and controllers. But I can show you on that next video. But for now, I want to show you how to start up uh, your own program. So you, the software we're using is Connected Components Workbench, and this is version 10. Uh, every year they try to come up with a newer software. And this is an Allen Bradley software, of course. All right, so now we're on the starting up page, and we're going to create a new project. Now we're going to name the project. I advise that you do it capitalized, so I'm going to put Berto underscore uh, PLC1. And then we're going to browse location. And what we want to do is save it to the flash drive because in most applications you don't want to save it to your computer, but rather to an external memory such as your flash drive. That way you can take it wherever you go and you have it safely. And so I'm going to put in my PLCA station 1, I'm going to click OK, and it's going to create it to where every time I save it, it's going to save to that pro to my flash drive instead of to the computer. All right, so it's going to turn on. OK. All right, so now we're on this and adding devices. Now, we got to understand what type of controller we're using. Uh, what family tree and here you can add your graphic terminals but first we're going to add our controller so we're going to go to micro 850 and we're going to use the 2080 lc50 24 qwb that's the controller type we have and you're going to add one and as you can see this says version now i just upgraded the version 10 firmware so you have to have to put the right version on it okay so now we're going to add to project it's going to pop up right here on the left side called the project organizer. <laughs> Shout out to my boy Alfredo here, camera guy. I hate my life. <laughs> Dude. All right. So now we are in to our program. Now, as you can see here, you can actually put your expansion modules. But currently, I cannot do that until I have my bus termination that helps read out my expansion modules. But for now, you can use internal bits, which I will explain in later videos. Okay, so first, we want to make a program. So we have to go to on the on the uh, sub here, and we're going to cl right click on programs. And we're going to click add, and as you can see, you have structured text, ladder diagram, and function block. We want to use ladder diagram okay then you, see, you can see it says program one that's where we want to go and there and so to bring out your tools usually sometimes it'll auto automatically come up on your right side of properties but in case it doesn't just go to your let's see thing you go to the toolbox and there it is 
So let's just say we want to add a rung. We're going to double click and it's going to add another rung. Now, I don't like how they have direct contact and reverse contact because that that's not the way lateral logic works anymore. You got to understand examine on and examine on. But for now, we are going to use examine on, which is in this program direct contact. Okay. Well. There we go. Okay, so now we're going into the variable selector. This is where we can find our inputs and outputs. And if you go to user global variables, this is where you can actually put your internal bits and your timers and your counters, I believe. And so here is our inputs and our outputs. So let's go ahead and use, let's see, this one right here, okay. Sweet. And let's get another output. Which is direct coil, which I do not agree, but it works that way. And we get... Let's, let's get the motor going. How about that? Okay. All right. And actually, you don't need a last rung. As long as... As long as you have, I believe, just this remaining, and you don't have an extra run where it has nothing, you're able to program. Now, to communicate, we're gonna add our connection to it. So we're gonna set connection path. We're gonna browse. Now, connection, connection path is not meaning you're actually connecting to the PLC yet. You're just adding a pathway to know where it's gonna go once you connect it and to download. And then you start putting on run operation. So we're going to use the IP address 169.254.24.166. And I can explain later on in the videos how IP addresses work. Okay, so we just set our path. And now we are going to build. Build means it's going through the process of examining your program, seeing what's on, what's off, making sure everything looks right you're not having any errors, it's gonna pop up right here on the bottom screen. It takes a couple of seconds. All right, as you can see, it's building. So one succeeded, zero failed, zero up to day, zero skip, so that's good. So we have zero errors, zero warnings. So now we're able to download Sweet. Okay, download. And then automatically, when you go back to program mode, you just have to disconnect. All right, it's programming, it's going through the process. Then we're gonna click yes. And it's gonna change it to run mode. And there you go. And now we have it. To run that. Input zero is actually hardwired normally closed. So if I press it, it'll unlatch the motor. Well, not unlatch, it would actually de energize the coil of my relay to un energize the motor. So if I let go, it sets the relay timer and it turns on. So that's just a brief introduction of how to open up. Uh, PLC program connected components. Well, that was a basic introduction of how to start a program. Next one, I'll explain how IP addresses work and how to actually start a configurations and your communication of the RS links. So, thank you guys and hope to see y'all next time.